Hey, what's up guys? Rakeem Madison here and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to take advantage of the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you stick with me to the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a free resource that's going to help you double the amount of traffic that you're getting on your YouTube channel right now. So definitely stick with me to the end of this one. Now, if you haven't yet already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long sustainable sustainable business that will eventually give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said we're going to go ahead and jump right into today's content all right so we're talking about taking advantage of the youtube algorithm well there's six algorithms on youtube okay so i'm going to go over all six of those then i'm going to break down some power tips that you could be doing and then i'm going to share with you that free resource so definitely stick with me to the end of this one all right, so the first algorithm we're going to be talking about here today is called the YouTube search algorithm. Okay, so this is going to be based on the effectiveness of your SEO, which is search engine optimization, meaning do you have your title as that keyword phrase? Do you have that keyword phrase in your description? And do you also have that keyword phrase uh, within your tags now what keyword phrases am I talking about so let's say for example because what I did right here is I basically screenshotted this okay I typed Facebook ads for and when I did that as you can see YouTube is giving me auto populations so you see all of these auto populations anytime you see them on YouTube or you see them on Google understand that people are actually searching for those things that's why YouTube is showing it to the showing them to you so then you can use those keyword phrases to go and rank for them and then that allows people to stay on their platform because you're creating quality content okay so as you can see here it says YouTube is going to rank your content based on relevancy and give more weight to the video that has the best user interaction so out of these keywords let's just say for example Facebook ads for beginners is the keyword that a person is looking like like they type that in Facebook ads for beginners that person is in the beginners phase of faith of learning Facebook ads so they want to know the basics right they don't, they're not necessarily looking for the advanced stuff on Facebook ads just yet because they're still in that learning phase now as they if they get value from your content and you you were the one that created the Facebook ads for beginners then now you can continue to take them on the journey right so people are always in phases when it comes to YouTube search alright so that's the YouTube search algorithm now let's talk a little bit about the suggested video algorithm alright so no two users will have the same experience on YouTube nobody is watching the same exact videos they want to serve the most relevant personalized recommendations to each of their viewers so the suggested video works like this if you're watching a video on YouTube on the right of the video you're gonna see other videos so I went ahead and took another screenshot and this was what they were showing me and they were showing me recommendations so as you can see recommend it for you recommend it for you so I watch a lot of Grant Cardone videos. So what are they doing? They want me to stay on the on the uh, stay on the platform. So they're going to continue to show me uh, Grant Cardone. Also, they're going to do it based off your watch history and your search history. What are you searching? And also, uh, like for example, with this Psycho, nobody knows. So Psycho is a musician, right? I listen to his music quite a bit. So when I do that right they can see hey this person is constantly watching this person's uh, content we want to keep putting that in front of him so that we can keep him on the platform because how does YouTube make money to keeping you on this platform that's how they make money by showing you ads so when you see an ad pop up before somebody's video YouTube is profiting from that and also the creator is profiting from that so understand give YouTube give YouTube what they want which is to keep people on this platform and your channel is gonna explode All right. so that's the suggested video algorithm now the next algorithm we're gonna talk about is the home page algorithm so this one is very um, similar to suggested they're really attached in a way because the same thing that's going on on the side videos is the same thing that's going on here so based on your search and your watch history what you're doing they're gonna show you videos related to what you've been searching and watching 
okay? So there's really not much of a difference when it comes to uh, the suggested videos. So as you can see here, your activity on YouTube, Google, and Chrome may influence your YouTube search results, recommendations on the homepage, in-app notifications, and suggested videos among, uh, amongst other places. Okay, so those two are very similar. Now let's talk about the next algorithm, which is called the notifications. Notice in the beginning of this video, I said something about ticking that bell icon if you want to get notified anytime that I release any videos. The reason I'm doing that is so that anytime that I put out a new piece of content and you guys are, are notified, like you, you tack the notif not tick the notification bell, that means you're going to get notified. So that means that I can now get you guys to come and check out what I'm doing new, right? At that particular point, once you check it out, YouTube is going to monitor the data like based on, okay, once they get notified, when they go to that video, are they actually staying on that video or are they just clicking off as soon as they get on? YouTube is going to monitor that data and that's going to have an effect on you whether they continue to show your content or not. Because remember, if you're not keeping people on their platform and keeping them watching, YouTube does not reward you. Okay, so keep that in mind. The, out of anything that I tell you in this video, if you don't know how to keep people watching, your channel is not going to grow how you want it to. Okay, so that's the notification. Anytime you release a new video, they're going to release it to your audience as long as they've ticked the bell and hit the notification button. So definitely, if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that notification bell, all right? All right, so let's continue. So right here is the subscriptions algorithm. Okay, so this one is very simple. So on the left side on your YouTube dashboard, you're going to see something that looks like this. You're going to see the home, you're going to see the trending, and you're going to see subscriptions. If you click on subscriptions, it's going to show you all of the creators that you're subscribed to. They're going to, it's going to show you multiple videos in that section, okay? So that's a way for you to also have, you know, drive traffic to your, to your channel because if your subscribers are doing that by clicking on that tab they're going to see all your recent videos that you've just uh, released or you released in the last couple of days or so okay so that's another way for you to get traffic so that's why i'm saying it's a algorithm all right so the next one is called the trending algorithm now um not everybody is going to make it to the trending algorithm now this one is more um, you know for like larger channels and then sometimes it'll be a smaller channel that'll get a trending video but it really, there's a ton of different things that have to happen before you hit that trending tab. So as you can see here, until the algorithm that feeds YouTube's trending tab gets triggered and promotes one of your videos, a lot has to happen before that. They usually, they usually only, uh, thus only, only large channels see their videos being promoted here occasionally. Okay, so check this out. 48 million views two days ago. 1.1 million views 13 hours ago. So those are pretty viral, guys. So videos that show up there, they're going to drive a lot of traffic as well because they're already viral. And you know there's people that are going and clicking on this trending tab and seeing what's trending all around the world. Okay? So those are the six different algorithms that YouTube has. Now, what is it that you can do to take advantage and actually leverage those algorithms to grow your channel? All right, so let's continue on. All right, so let's go over some YouTube power tips that I believe are definitely going to help you take it to the next level. Number one is you got to find a niche, okay? You got to find a niche that you feel like you're going to be able to create thousands of videos on, right? And you're going to be able to help a ton of people in that. So really focus in on what your channel is going to be about, right? very important okay the second is to create quality content right once you pick that niche you start creating content that people are actually going to get value from like when people watch your video it should, it, should, it should just they should just feel like man that that really impacted me like i i really got value from that those are the type of videos that you want to create because that's how you're going to you know pretty much stay in the long run you're not going to be like the people who create videos and they're not quality they're not providing value and and people just don't enjoy those type of channels which is usually the channels who the, the creators who you know complain about not growing but they're not focusing on their audience and growing outside of their audience as well so 
Those things are key. Now, the third power tip I'm going to give you is to create awesome thumbnails. Okay. Now, if it's not maybe the greatest thumbnail, create a thumbnail that creates, um, you know, curiosity in the mind, and they just they just feel like, man, I gotta click on that. I gotta see what that video is about. So think of your like when you're creating the thumbnails, always think of curiosity. Would you click on that? And that's the question you always want to ask. All right. So the fourth power tip is to implement SEO, which is search engine optimization. Now, I actually did a video up on my channel. Um, what I'll do is I'll link it up in the top right corner of this video. Um, you should see it pop up right about now. A little eye, go ahead and click on that, and it'll link you over to the videos um, that I've done. I've done a few of them on YouTube SEO, all right? All right, and then the last power tip is to analyze your results and to stay consistent. So if you're going to be someone who puts out YouTube videos every single day, do it every single day. Don't take, a, don't take, don't take your time off, okay? Now, if it's going to be three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, go ahead and do it that way. Whatever your days are going to be, try to be consistent on those days, okay? Don't miss them because what will happen is your audience will be like, oh, well, they said they were going to put out content on this day, this day, and this day. Well, they didn't. They only did it one time this week. And then the next week comes, you do it one time a week again, and then your audience is not going to, they're not going to be on the same level with you. They're not going to even trust you at that point. So stay consistent in what you're doing and analyze the results that you're getting so then you can see, okay, is this working or is this not working? And what's not working, go ahead and drop it off and then create better content, okay? And then after that, you're pretty much rinsing and repeating that process, all right? So I have a free resource for you, okay? Down below in the description, there is the YouTube Ranking Cheat Sheet. It's something I created on my own, and I also created a course, okay? This is free for you. Once you, All you got to do is click the link down below in the description that says YouTube Ranking Cheat Sheet. Once you click it, um, all you're going to have to do is just enter your email in. Once you enter your email, make sure you send the right email. That way you can actually get the YouTube Ranking Cheat Sheet because otherwise if you put something fake in, it's not, I'm not going to be able to email that over to you. So definitely... Put the right information in. You're going to get access to that course. It's going to teach you how to do YouTube um, SEO. And then also the resource up in the uh, top right corner of this video is another video I did here on the channel. Now, if you got value from this video, guys, let me go ahead and let that show up for you guys. Free YouTube ranking cheat, cheat sheet in the description. Now, if you got value from this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video, my friend. Peace.